Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I had a teacher come to me and ask me a question a few days ago about a game they saw online. Basically, the game gave the user the ability to take um, some type of information and drag it to a certain area. And if where they were dragging it was correct, the information stayed. And if it was incorrect, the information would actually bounce back. And they were wondering if that's possible within um, Active Inspire. And actually, it is. So I just set up a quick uh, flip chart here for you. Basically, you can see on the screen there's a test tube, there's a beaker, and there's a red box that has the word test tube in it, and a yellow box that has the word beaker at the very top of it. So basically what I'm gonna, we're, we're going to be able to do is to create some scenario on the screen so that let's say you're testing the kids, kids understanding of you know they actually know what a test tube is or what a beaker is so technically you'd want them to be able to drag the test tube to the test tube box let go and it stay and the same thing for the beaker so I'm just going to mix these up real quick here I'm going to show you how this can work <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to assign this red test tube box to be the container obviously for the test tube and the yellow box for the beaker to be the container for the beaker so we have to actually tell it uh, to accept those properties and here's how this process goes alright so I'm going to use the test tube red box first and assign the properties to it so I'm going to roll over the browsers and I'm going to click at the very top the property browser so again I have the red test tube box selected and I'm rolling over the browsers and I'm making sure I'm clicking on property browser now if you scroll down this browser to where it says container right in this area here this is where we give you the uh, the attributes to the red box as being a container so here's how this goes we want it right now it says can contain and right now it says nothing we actually want to make sure it can contain a specific object so I'm gonna click the down arrow and choose specific object now the next statement says contain object what object do we want it to contain well we obviously want it to be containing the test tube so I'm gonna click the ellipsis here it will pop up a sub menu for me this sub menu notice it shows a bunch of images and items that are on the, the actual screen but I want to scroll through these images and text until I find the item I want it to contain which would be what you see right now on the screen the test tube so this is image two I can see the picture I'm going to click OK now um, you can um, specify the rule meaning it has to be completely contained or the centers must, must match I typically just use uh, completely contained as long as this, the picture of the test tube is in the red area it will be good to go there's the possibility of um, adding on a reward sound meaning if the student or you were to drag the test tube into the red test tube box a sound would play so I'm going to go ahead and show you that. I'm going to click the down arrow. I'm going to tell that to be true. And the next one's going to ask me for a sound location. So I'm going to click the ellipses. And I'm just going to find a sound in my home directory somewhere that um, will play as soon as the student and or you um, actually put the, put the test tube in the red test tube box. So I'm just going to have it play some type of an alarm and return if not contained that means alright if if the test tube does not get placed in the red box do you want it, do we want it returned we absolutely do so I'm gonna mark the false to a true so that's pretty much set up the red test tube is pretty much the box is set up to contain the test tube I just have to tell the test tube now that if you don't get in that red box you must come back to where you came from so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my cursor and click on the test tube and again in the property browser I'm going to scroll down to container now this is not this item will not contain anything so I'm gonna leave it as containing nothing but where it says at the bottom return if not contained I want that to be true because remember we want it to bounce back if it's not in the right spot so the test tube and the test tube box are set up to work so quickly here I'm going to do the same thing for the beaker box in the beaker itself so here it is again I'm going to click on the beaker the yellow beaker container property browser container tell it I want to contain a specific object click the ellipses to specify the object the object is right here it's the beaker so I'm going to click OK I want it completely contained this time I'm not going to have it play any sound so I'm going to click false for that just to show you the difference and return it if not contained absolutely so I'm going to mark the false and make that be a true so the beaker box is ready now for the beaker I'm going to click on 
property browser once again container nothing has to be adjusted as far as what it can contain at the very bottom where it says return if not contained I'm going to mark that true all right now I should be set up well with anything I have so I'm gonna go and test the test tube one out I'm gonna click on the test tube I'm just gonna I'm gonna roll it up here to show you that if it doesn't go where it's supposed to be it'll bounce back if I take it to the beaker area it's not where it's supposed to go it'll bounce back but if I take it to the test tube and let go it stays and hopefully you can see the sound uh, or hear I'm sorry, excuse me hear the sound play same thing for the beaker I'm going to take the beaker and drag it notice it pops back it pops back take it to the test tube area it will pop back but once you take the beaker to the beaker area and let go it will stay and we have now the the ability to create containers kind of a little game if you will a matching game if you will within active inspire so hopefully that was clear enough if you have any further questions uh, please don't hesitate to let me know I'll be happy to walk you through this but I think it's a pretty cool way that we can kinda of create games in our classrooms with our students without too much effort so hopefully you enjoyed have a great day we'll be talking to you soon bye bye